Hey guys, Kenneth here. Today I'm going to show you how I made my fully functional 3x3x5. Let's get started. Here's what you're going to see in this video. First, I'm going to show you everything you need to build a 3x3x5. Then, I'm going to give an overview on how to build a 3x3x5. And last, I'm going to show you how to transform each piece of a 3x3x4 into a piece for a 3x3x5. So, here's what you'll need. You will need one cube for you 3x3x4, preferably one that hasn't been put together yet. A 3x3x3, also one that hasn't been put together yet. You will need a very good cutting tool. And I really like this razor saw. I'll put a link in the description on where you can buy it. That razor saw came with a miter box. You don't really need one, but it was very helpful to have uh, this miter box. It makes you cut very precise straight cuts. You'll need some sandpaper. I have some of different grits. This one is 120, which works good for making kind of rougher sands. This one is 600, which makes very fine, smooth finishes. You'll need some super glue. And then, optional, you'll either need epoxy sculpt or some plastic sheeting. And that's it. My 3x3x5 was made from a cube for you 3x3x4. The reason the 3x3x4 is such a good choice for making the 3x3x5 is that the 3x3x4 is in fact a 3x3x5. This middle layer here is actually hidden right here in the 3x3x4. If you look here, the center piece right here on the 3x3x5 is actually hidden right here between these two edges. So to make the 3x3x5, you're going to need to change these pieces here on the 3x3x4. I'm going to show you some of the cuts you're going to need to make to make the 3x3x5. This is the first cut you're going to want to make. Get the inner edge of the 3x3x4 and you want to cut off this bottom part of this edge. The cut is exactly in the middle along this line. You can use this edge here as a guide. This is the second cut you'll need to make. Cut right along this line here. This line is exactly halfway between my fingers. Here, this line goes straight up from this edge. When this cut is over, you'll need to keep the section that I'm holding it by. So be sure to make precise cuts. This is the third cut you're going to need to make. Cut along this line on the inner corner. You can use this edge right here as a guide. This is the fourth cut you're going to need to make. Cut along this line. You can use this edge as a guide. When you're done, be sure to keep this part that I'm holding it by. Be sure to make precise cuts. Here's an edge piece of a Rubik's Cube. You need to cut all but four of the edge pieces along this line. It's exactly halfway between my fingers. You can use this edge as a guide. You will need to cut all eight of your corners along this line. It's exactly halfway between my fingers. If the center of your Rubik's Cube looks like this one, you're in luck. All you gotta do now is make two more cuts and cut off the top part of the center. You gotta do this twice. If your center looks like this one, you're out of luck. You need to find either two more edge pieces or two more corner pieces and make this cut. This will be the last cut you need to make. Just cut along this line here. You'll need to keep both sides of this cut. Now I'm going to show you how to transform this piece into this one. Remember, after we've made this cut, 
it's going to be quite small. Using this bottom section here of this piece from our previous cut, we're going to glue that right on top here. So this piece here originally came from here. The cut side is glued down so that this finished side is facing up. We use this section of this piece to put right on top here. To transform this piece from this one to this one, after this section has been cut, to extend it to look like this one, we use the half of the edge piece. And we glue this top half to the top here. To get this nice smooth section, we use this half here. And that plugs in just nicely right into there. To transform this piece into this one, after we've made our cut, we need to glue an extension. The extension comes from this piece here that we cut from the outer corner. We want to glue the cut side facing down. Once we've glued that, we use the cap from the 3x3x4 corners and we plug that into the top. The bottom, we use the cap from the corners of the 3x3x3. To transform the outside corner from this one to this one, first we make the cut. Once the cut is done, we then have to super glue an extension. The extension comes from the corner piece of our 3x3x3. Just super glue it to the top. To transform the center cap of the 3x3x4 into the center cap of the 3x3x5, we need to super glue an extension to the top of the 3x3x4. The extension will either come from the center piece we cut off or the extra edge or corner piece. When we're done, it'll look like this. To make the core, use the core from the 3x3x3. Replace the extended centers with the centers that came from the 3x3x4. That way, when you plug in the cap for the extended centers, it will line up correctly. Your 3x3x5 should be basically done at this point. You'll notice it won't turn very well, and it won't look very good. And that's because each piece needs to be thoroughly sanded to make sure that we have smooth rotation along every side. Also, we'll have cracks here, and the cracks will either need to be filled with epoxy sculpt and sanded down, like what I did, or you'll need to cap each piece with some plastic. Otherwise, it won't look so good. You can still see some of the cracks here, and I chose to use epoxy sculpt. If I were to redo it, I would cap each piece with some plastic. So that's it. That's how you make 3 by 3 by 5 it's not too difficult. Um, you know, it actually is a lot easier than I thought it would be. It's just cut and super glue, cut and super glue. Um, it's very tedious and it takes a very long time, but it's uh, very rewarding. This is one of my favorite puzzles I own. I love how it looks when it's all scrambled. It's a lot of fun to solve and it's a great puzzle. So if you want, go ahead and make one. If you do, make a video of it, and uh, why don't you post it as a response to this one? That'd be really cool. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day.